Nafao says the tripartite agreement between the unions, employers and government states that employers will not be allowed to retrench any employees in view of the COVID-19 pandemic. Government last week revealed that 500 people lost their jobs after the state of emergency was declared in the Thomas, Karas and Erongo regions. However, the situation on the ground paints a different picture. Safari Hotel issued a notice while people were on lockdown. Some notice issued on the 1st of April while employees are at their houses. Some are sent home without to pay or taking their leave. Now they intend to close their doors tomorrow. The union has now registered a case against the hotel with the Office of the Labour Commissioner claiming violation of the tripartite agreement which clearly stipulates the rules of the state of emergency. So they are not respecting what the law says and action has been taken to avoid that retrenchment until the process at the Office of the Labour Commissioners has been concluded. The union demands one month of full remuneration severance payment of two weeks for each year of service and $10,000 to be paid to all retrenched employees. Addressing the media conference, Penda says the union has been attempting to meet management halfway to discuss the retrenchment of employees. However, he says hotel management has not been responding to communications sent to them. The NBC did not get any response to questions sent to the chairperson of the Safari Hotel and Safari Court Hotel. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.